Hello everyone, it's Mrs. O, and we are now on lesson two for computer-aided design or CAD software. So if you are viewing this, that means you have already viewed the first lesson. So make sure you start with the first lesson, computer-aided design, in which we talk about what is CAD and how to sign into Tinkercad. Okay, again, just like in the first lesson, be careful to avoid the temptation to flip between screens. All right, now, first of all, I want you to know that CAD, computer-aided design, uh, will work on both your iPad and on a computer. You're welcome to experiment with Tinkercad, sign in and complete the assignments on a computer if you have one. Um, otherwise, it does also work on the iPad. The only difference is um, when you are completing some assignments, if you're following along with a set of instructions, you may read left click and drag. That's in reference to a computer. If you read that and you're on an iPad, you simply tap it with your finger and drag it. Works the same way. Okay, and we did talk about how to sign in. Okay, there is a link. Okay, you click that, and then you uh, will go right to a sign-in page in which you sign in with your last name and first name and the number one. All right, now what's the advantage of using CAD software? When an object is created in 3D on a computer, the designer can move the model and rotate it to view the object from any direction. It is easy for a designer to look at the back, see underneath, or even cut away part of the object to look inside using a computer-aided design or CAD application. And you will use two-dimensional shapes to create solid models in a CAD application called Tinkercad. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do with Tinkercad, after you log in, you're going to find on the tab the word learn. Click on the Tinkercad icon in the upper left-hand corner to always go back to your dashboard. When you're in your dashboard, you're going to click learn. Okay, learn will take you to this page where there are different modules for learning and you're going to start with the starters. You're going to work through all of the starters. There are seven starters. They're called place it, view it, move it, rotate it, size it up, group it, align it. Each one will only take a couple of minutes. Okay. So that is your first assignment, actually your second assignment, because your first one was just to learn how to log in. But now you're going to start with step one on the left side of the screen. When all the steps are completed in the tutorial, you click next. To practice the skill again, you hit reset. When you are ready to try the next skill, you click done. Then move to the next uh, project, or actually the next starter, and you hit continue. The starter lesson should be completed by January 11th. And I do have a helper video that we're also posting for you that will show you how to work through the starters, at least the first couple. Okay, good luck. Remember to email me if you have any questions.